there's not a moment to spare It's quite a drop from the top So how are you feeling down there? It's a cold, cruel, harsh reality caught stuck What's going on everybody? James Largo, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com the Cichlid Shack on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us on social media to see pictures and photos of our fish, as well as obviously on YouTube at the Cichlid Shack to see videos of our fish room and our fish available. Welcome back to another inventory walkthrough. Uh, we got a fish shipment in yesterday, and I wanted to show some of the fish that came in and also some of the fish uh, I actually missed an entire row on the last video because I was going on on the rant about me not breeding anymore uh, I want to apologize about that I just I'd heard a bunch of stuff and it was going on and it was on my mind so I said what was on my mind uh, hopefully it didn't offend nobody but some of the comments were offending me so something needed to be said uh, but on with that, we're moving on. Let's, uh, we'll show some of the fish that we already showed. Angara's flame tails, oh plenty. Uh, really, really nice Angara's rubescens. I mean, look at the flames on some of these guys, like that guy right there. The dominance in there, there's, you know. Beautiful Angaras, folks. Beautiful rubescents. Some more rubescents. Red top Lawandas. Ovialis. All looking very, very nice. Uh, we just finished water changes a little bit ago. Uh, finished out 75, 80% of the fish room. Down here. And Benjai Regals, Kobu Regals, Lemon Jakes. Oh, here we go. Here is some of the beauties that came in yesterday. And I posted a picture of some of these guys on um, Instagram. So a few of these big guys are, you know, they were sold before I even put them on the website. Like that guy back there. Uh, they're, these tetrastigmas are just something special, especially like, here's the dominant one right here. And uh, you can see why they were gone before I even got them out of the bags. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. As well as some five and six inch Margionatus red fins. Uh, these are, this guy's every bit of six inches here. You can see some beautiful coloration there. Also, we have some Lethernop Oculatus in here. Looking very, very nice as well. But these Tetrastigmas, my goodness. Down here, some Taiwan Reefs. The Mylochromus Lateristriga. I still got a few of those left. Uh, some Blue Golds. Uh, I forgot to grab my light, so let me grab that real quick. You guys already know what's down in this tank. Uh, tons of beautiful Venustis. Uh, I got one uh, really big six, six inch plus in Cygnus. Um, and of course our beautiful living stone eyes. Always looking luscious. Six inch living stone eyes. You can see those dominant Venustas hiding in the back back there. Beautiful Venustas, living stone eye, and Cygnus. Going down the center row. We got some more of the Malawi Barracudas. Uh, we did get some at three and a half to four inch this time. If you guys didn't want them quite so big, I got three and a half to four inch and four and a half to five inch this time. Some more beautiful 
Malaria Chidunga rocks, three and a half to four inch. Hopefully uh, you can see the gleaming yellow in these guys. Really, really nice. Also got some three and a half to four inch uh, red top Lawandas. Down here, these are the Midnight Peacocks. And these guys are looking really good. Three and a half to four inch. Hopefully you can see the coloration on those. Really pretty fish. This tank, some fish fresh out of the grow out tubs. We got lemon jakes, uh, Eureka Reds, and Otter Points in here, folks. Uh, three and a half to four inch. Uh, the lemon jakes, eh, three and a quarter, three and a half. But the Eurekas and the Otter Points are definitely three and a half to four inch. Uh, they're looking beautiful, but these lemon jakes got some really good color for their size as well Down here we got some more of these monstrous Mylochromus and for Mimus uh, Five and a half six inch easy also some six inch blue neons um, The red caps there's two left, but they're sold so we'll be getting some more of those in here shortly. In this tank, the turquoise peacocks, looking luscious as always. Uh, some really nice redfin borley eyes. And Malawi eye biters. Another nice borley eye here. Um, this trout is the last one and it's gone. It's sold, I do have 10 more coming this week hopefully. Uh, they will be this size again, I'm being told. And I have something else, a surprise coming that I've been getting asked for a lot. It's another Predator hat. Uh, not sure if I want to say anything yet because I want to make sure they come in. But um, you won't be disappointed when they get here. Up here, big five and six inch beautiful flavescence. Christinatus Mumbos, I have a couple of those left, four and a half to five inch. And the beautiful Mylochromus Chrysillus. This tank, we have one of those big six inch plus Taiwan reefs left. Some four and a half to five inch and D-Way fire haps and the Uritania and there's a, one that's not sure if you can see him with the glare but he's starting to really color up up there here he comes uh, he's getting the orange in his side and his gold belly and I'm hoping the color is coming through but he's looking really really nice we sent out that dominant one from last week's video to a customer and now another one is coloring up really really nice and I'm really digging these different kind of a fish with some really cool colorations. I would assume it's only going to get even more colorful and nicer as they mature. In here, 5 inch plus Fuscos, some more of those Redfin Borley Eyes and 5 inch bicolors. This Fusco's got some really good color here. Must be the, he was, he's definitely the dominant one in there. You can see his face is completely blue. And I have one more rocks that's about five inch or so. Definitely a male, they're late bloomers. Uh, his bicolors are looking really sweet. Down here, we have uh, Hans Beshi red shoulders. Six inch, good size. Looking really nice. Four and a half to five inch dolphins. Uh, VC 10s at four and a half to five inch. And I have a couple more Fusco's in here. This side, some more of those dolphins at four and a half to five inch. Uh, Rostratus, four inch Rostratus. Uh, there's a good shot of an OB Borley eye. If he would sit still. 
this tank. We have a few of the beautiful sunshines left. And a couple of big tangerine tigers. This one's looking very, very nice. Up here, 5-inch Eureka Reds, beautiful Azaris, and 5-inch Ivory Head Melotos with full blazes, looking luscious. I love me the Melotos and pretty much anything with a blaze, but because of that dark, dark blue and that really white frosted blaze, I just, I love Melotos. Okay, on to the stuff that I missed last week. Have some more of these Hapachroma Species Ultra Reds. And here are the three inch Nyeri eyes. In, in here with these, looking very, very nice. Have some Jalo Reefs, four inch or so. I think I have a few three inchers. These are all male Jalo Reefs. And in yesterday, Cornelii Blue Golds, Peacocks. These are one you kind of don't see very often. My good buddy Tim Howard asked me if I can get these and um, get them for him, I will. Uh, they are beautiful. Every bit of four inch uh, available now on our website. Down here, three and a half to four inch German Reds. Behind us here, have some more Eureka Reds down there. I have a few Star Sapphires. Uh, I listed them at three inch, but you can see they're more like three and a half. Um, I do have one breeding group. I'm holding back this larger male and I believe there's three or four females that's listed under the Star Sapphires. If you guys want to breed Star Sapphires, uh, like I said, I'm holding back that larger male that's back by right there for the breeding group. This tank, absolutely stunning. Maylandi sulfur heads. Um, yeah, I don't need to say much else about that. Also some more of those 5 inch VC10s in the back back there. And these came in yesterday, uh, three and a half to four inch Lethernop Mumbazi red fins. Uh, they got really good color for their size and they're really nice. Down here, another fish that's a first timer in the cichlid shack. And this is the Otto Fairnix Spotsani in here. Uh, most of them are three and a half to four inch. I did get one four and a half to five incher. He's right there, but he, he sold right away. Really pretty fish. Uh, got a good picture of one in my hand on the website. So if you'd like to check out what they look like in full color, go check out the website. Got a whole bunch of pink pink, red, and orange, four inch plus dragon bloods. Really, really pretty dragon bloods. In this tank, some more of those beautiful Melandi sulfur heads. And I have some albino strawberries in here. This tank, beautiful red suns. And a good shot of one of those bigger VC10s. There's a nice big 5 inch red sun that just took off. Here's another one back there. Have a few Xerox in here as well. You can see the nice blazes, 3.5 to 4 inch. Down here are the big boy uh, Xerox, 5 inch Xerox. 6 inch Xerox, full blue, full blazed, Xerox lithobates. Alrighty folks, 
I believe that's everything. I don't think I missed anything this time. Um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful and happy weekend. And until next time, we'll leave you with a shot of this beautiful Touch of Stigma. Peace.